uh, welcome to our educational programming uh, in this video we are going to check about uh, uh, the equation the five equations of uniform motion uh, it's so easy but we are not going to show only equation we're going to show you with the proof it's so easy the first of all of the first equation must uh, must determine if the acceleration is a constant if the acceleration is become constant here yeah, by the way it's also important way we can uh, determine it it's so easy way so we can say acceleration is uh, constant Of course, it's the easy way why we are going to learn with the proof. For the first equation, uh, if the acceleration is constant, so what we say here, so let's make the acceleration. We do the formula of acceleration is must be a, is must be change of v, right? Change of v over t. Not only that, when we make it to the proof acceleration, we can write like that. Change of, uh, excuse me, there's something wrong, we can find it here. If the, accel if the we can say here is a ac acceleration, is a, ch a change in volt velocity over time. So we can say uh, v, v is a final velocity minus u is an initial we could use with the alphabetic or v final minus v initial we could say like that time so what are we do like that here is the most main thing is we can write here the following formula uh, it's actually very important way to because we can write here again acceleration which calls to v minus u over t now so let's, let's make a crisscross it's become like that a t which is equal to uh, v minus u right so if we reverse the sign here or we can say here like that of course it's the main way uh, it's a, a good way to understand v which is equal to u plus a t it is the most important way why we're going to discover here why we understand about to check here in the correct formula so this is the number one formula so this is uh, the most important major thing is we are going to see here when we reverse the acceleration with the time here of course it is a time way here we can we're going to check the proof properly t which is called to v minus u over acceleration if we reverse the acceleration with time time with acceleration it's the correct point here we can check here so why what about average velocity if we gonna going to calculate here if you ask to calculate average velocity, use average velocity, which calls to v plus u over 2. So, this is the major thing is we are going to check why we use this kind of a formula with the acceleration constant. And this is, is the major thing is we are going to see here. Now, the second uh, formula is... If we put here a second formula here, delta x, we can say delta x is uh, such as displacement. We can say uh, uh, delta x or displacement, but let's choose s because uh, we are learning in physics. What the correct formula of uh, displacement is average velocity with time. So the average velocity is here, we can check here. So average velocity which is equal to uh, here, here we are checking uh, average velocity here, 
So the average velocity here, we can check here, average velocity here. Average velocity, which is supposed to be, we can write as v plus u over 2. v plus u over 2. At there, times t. Now this is the second equation. Now this is the second equation here. After we have put it here. If we put it the acceleration formula, then we can change it the time velocity here. Now let's use the correct properly here. The next surface here we are checking here. The third formula velocity s must be at displacement or we can say delta x uh, then we can write here a v is indicated that v it must be u plus 80 u plus 80 here there is a velocity here so we can write here here is the v here v plus u over 2 so let's express it the following here. We'll keep check the. So uh, v is here. V is here, and here is a v. That's why we can express here v. It's supposed to be. We can write this the following equation as uh, as much as possible. Now here is a v. Here is a v. The V which indicates that U plus 80. We can write here U plus 80. U plus 80. Plus U. Over 2. T here. So we can write here. Here is a U plus U. U. Where we say it here? u plus u, there is 2u, 2u plus 80. We can say here. The correct main point is, here is u plus u here. You're checking here with the correct formula as, uh, as much as possible. Here is u. And there you here just add them together so it's become you now we can say here to you plus a t over two we can explain here here t now, let's multiply them. S. Let's calculate here. S, which is equals to 2U. Two 2U two two here times T. Yeah? 2U, we can, we, can, we can multiply. 2U times T, 2UT. Plus 80 times T, 80. T here is here. If you make, let us make the whole square. Very good. Now, here, S, which is equals to 2u2 over 2. Let's divide the bit by 2 all of them. 2ut over 2 plus 80 square over 2. So let's so it's possible to erase to erase to cancel 2 and 2. And let's make here it is 1 it is 80, right? So let's make here, 80 square, 80 square was the right, the right time, 
so let's make here uh, it's uh, here isn't there's is one so let's write it the correct formula here at uh, possible mention events s uh, which is equal to we cancel here two by two then the the remaining is u t plus half of a t square so is it not, is it not actually is it difficult to calculate like that because it's really 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 calculations important for your future so so we can make uh, we can mention here this is the third equation so this is the third equation now let's go at the last of equation why we say here let me tell you the time here We're going to give you here s which equals to here v plus u two as we have mentioned in the equation two right as we have mentioned in the equation two like that here here is the equation two you are checking Let's prove it this also. The time is given here. So here, S which is equal to V plus U. So the time is given here. Where? Here is time. The time is here indicates at T, right? The T here, why we put it over here, a T is indicates as here a T. So, what the correct formula to put T? Let's solve this one by using a proof formula. And it is actually important way to calculate. Its outcomes, it's also important way for cal calculation, the equations by using their outcomes and they're using the... the calculation very well and very correctly so after a few minutes uh, we can determine as a main possibility to calculate and uh, to determine it's well and uh, that's why we can calculate here of course it's a main point and of course we like to learn here at university and let's check here the formula the correct formula at the calculations now what shall we do S, which is equal to uh, here. Uh, so let's uh, calculate it uh, very, 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 very well. Uh, let me tell you how can we calculate it. Yeah. So uh, if we say here uh, now, now uh, let's uh, calculate that very well. Uh, and let me tell you here. Now here's B. If we say here, let's make it a magnifying decreasing. In order to understanding the equation very clearly now let me show you the equation properly here here is a v let's calculate here v times v v square so we are going to write here v square so we can write here v times u Let's say here minus. Let's say here v times u here minus. So let's put minus v u. Now, so u times v v u. U times v u v or v u. Because if you say u v or v u, are their difference? V u or the last minus here u times u square minus u square so now we have calculated here 
2 times a. Let's multiply this one. What's the correct will be? 2a. So this is the correct uh, calculations where we did determine here. Now let's put it the proof here. So we have a one. They, we have a one formula to cancel it. Here VU and VU must cancel with the remaining here. The remaining here, we gotta check here. B square minus U over 2A. Now it's a good way to understand why we say that. So let's make us crease cross here. Crease cross. So we have to say here 2AS, which is equals to V square minus U square. So what the mean purpose here? So let's uh, put the sign in reverse here. Here is a negative, right? Let's reverse it to the positive. Here we can say V square, which is equal to u square here is because it reverse we reverse it here yeah? v square it's become it's become plus 2 a s now this is the equation for now this is the most calculation equations what we are using in the uniform accelerated motion so you have to identify very well Another method is to understand how can we learn, how can we use the following method. So as to not for, so as not to forget for everyone who is not that like that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening about that. Now check it whether it's correct or not.